best video editing software for beginners is in today's video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Tutorial Tucker channel. Please go and subscribe down below, hit the like button, turn notifications on and leave a comment if you have a question. Today's video is really, really awesome. I'm showing you a really good video editing software for beginners, which is completely free and it's online based. It's called InVideo, but do not click off. I've got a full tutorial on this. So go and jump onto the editor. I'll put a link down below. Go and check that out. And I've also got a coupon uh, discount code for you to use which I reveal in the video so I hope that's useful let's go and jump into this video it's a bit well to make so please go and watch the full tutorial and then go and follow along using in video now let's get into this so everybody as you can see we're now on this awesome program which you can go and access by the link down below make sure you go through that link it takes you directly to the program online video editor so all you want to do is come up here and click sign up and go and create an account quickly it doesn't take more than a few seconds and once you sign up you'll be here and also quickly guys, I've got you an awesome discount. As you can see here, the premium version is $10 and $30. And if you use the code tutorial25, that'll be on the screen right now, just to confirm it, should be tutorial25. Go and enter that and you'll be getting yourself a 25% discount on top of this. This is only $7.50 a month and you get so many, so many awesome features. And yeah, let's jump straight into the tutorial. By the way, I do have the premium version. So once you set your account up, you'll now be here. Pre-made templates, article to video, and blank template. So here you can go and pick a template, which is really, really awesome. And in the article to video, you can convert your article to an engaging video. So that's really, really cool. So you can like find an article and then convert it into a video, which is useful. And then you've got a blank template where you can go and start video editing, which is useful in six by nine, nine by 16 and squares. So that's like a phone. Perfect, perfect, perfect features. And now let's go and jump into some of the awesome templates you can go and use. So in the templates, there are over 3,000 you can choose from to go and create some awesome, awesome videos, which I really, really do like. And they, it will take under 10 minutes to go and create that video. So now I want to quickly show you an example of how to go and use in video. So let's go and say, let's test out this free incredible facts about space. So let's go and click on that here and click on the little line. And as you can see now, we can go and choose um, how to use this. So if you want to create a 6 by 9 video, a vertical video, 9 by 16 or a square video, it adjusts it all perfectly, which is absolutely insane. And it's super, super useful. So what I recommend is I'm going to be using wide by 16 um, by 9, but you can use whatever and you can click use this template. And now it's going to load up our editor essentially. So yeah, it's all in the browser. It's insane. And I really, really like it and I really recommend it. So wait a minute. And now, as you can see, here we are. You've got this whole editor and we can adjust everything. And we've got the different scenes. So here's the timeline. Uh, we can literally just drag through it and it will load it in. Um, so obviously, let's, the, the, this is the three fact video, I believe, or four. So yeah, you've got one third fact and then you've got your fourth fact, which is just over here. And on the left, you've got this dashboard here. So you've got um, videos and images. And overall, there are over 3 million images and videos you can choose from. Here you've got music. Obviously, there is already music here, but you can go and change that. You've got text, so you can add extra text, even though this has already got it. So I guess this side is more useful if you're using the blank template. But obviously, this still applies. You can still add more text. So you've got stickers, you've got effects. Um, and the only difference is with using these online editors. It just takes a second or two to load the effect, like literally less than a second and it loads, which is so, so good. And obviously, this doesn't mean you don't have to have an insane computer and I love it so much because it allows everyone to go and edit and here you've got upload so I did a few test recordings I can go and delete now um, but I'll be showing you how to go and do voiceovers in just a minute but now let's go and edit this so on the right you've got your edits and your different layers so for example let's come to our first scene here we can go and click on this and as you can see you've got our numbers incredible facts about spaces separate layers and you've got your video here and you can go and change that if you'd like as well. But anyway, about space, let's say we wanted to change that. You just double click on it and we could say like um, about YouTube if you wanted to. Obviously, this isn't about YouTube, but it's about space, but that's just an example. So let's put that back to space now and you can change it this. So if it will say uh, five facts, you go and put five. It's so, so good. And then to save it, you just go click off it and it, it will go and adjust it for you. It's absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, that's the first sort of major part. But now the next thing I wanna show you is obviously you can do that to all the other scenes as well. And you can add scenes, which is useful. So you click say add scene once it loads and we can go and add more. We're going to add it after this one here. So if I click yes, it'll then go and put it in here. 
and uh, yeah it's so so useful now the next thing I'm gonna go and show you is how you can go and take advantage of adding voice servers so that is really important for creating this type of video like these sort of fat videos perform really well on YouTube just a quick you know tip for you if you want to create something like this you can do really well on YouTube and it's so so useful and it's uh, free so yeah the first thing you want to do in adding a voiceover is click click add voiceover and now you've got these um you've got these options you can have an automated voiceover which is like a computer speech one um you've got record upload computer and import from mload uh, um so yeah i'm going to go and record so i'm going to hit record and as you can see, um, to go and add this, you'll need to go and mute the other audio. So currently there is music. I can't show you that because um, I don't have my um, music being recorded on the computer. But yeah, you can go and do that. But I'm going to mute all other audio just so I can add this voiceover. Now here, we can go and start the voiceover. So I'm going to do a quick voiceover right now. And uh, yeah, let's go and get into this. So this is a quick fact file, I guess, about space. Now let's jump into the first fact. So then I can go and click stop. And uh, it's just going to be loading or take a minute to upload it because it's basically, you know, uploading it back into the timeline. It doesn't take two minutes and it doesn't take much longer than it would if we were, say, on our normal video editor on our computer. So while it waits, we can just go and wait. You can see the stuff. Do not go and click on the stuff while it wait. You just got to wait. And this will um, depend on your internet. As you can see, here it is. And uh, that's perfect. So I'm going to go and click save. You can go and listen to it. Um, as you can see, you can see where I'm speaking. And I'll trim that um, bit off there after I've gone and finished. So yeah, I'm gonna go and click save. And all I'm gonna do is end the bit where I wasn't speaking, which is so, so useful. So as you can see, there's a bit here, if I come down here, it's easy to see where I'm speaking, right? And I don't need that last bit. So all I'm gonna do is just trim it off just like that by dragging it, and then you can click apply, and then it goes and shortens it. So it takes a minute, just says trimming audio, and uh, then it's gonna trim it off, which is really, really good, because I don't need that bit where I'm not speaking, right? And there is a bit at the front I'm gonna do as well. So I'm just going to do it a bit there and click apply. So we're making good progress right now. We've now got our initial voiceover and we can go and um, play back. I'll just show you a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got our voiceover done. And one of my favorite parts about it is when you click play, it literally makes it like a YouTube video. So it fully sort of saves it and makes it high quality. So you can actually li listen back to what you said and to what you've edited. So yeah, that's really cool. And these are some more features. So now I want to go and show you some of the videos and images. So say if we wanted a dog um, video, we could just search dog and it's going to search all the ones it has relating to dogs. So we can go and import this if you wanted to. So you can click on that there. And as you can see, the video adds without any watermarks which is useful. And to add that clip in, all you want to do is drag it like so. And you can drag it on top. And then you can go and choose how you want it. So you can trim the video. So I don't need it that long. So I'm going to have just for a couple seconds and click done. And then it's going to import it over that. And we can just line that up perfectly. Now the awesome bit is you can also change your, your, your zoom as well by doing this. So you can click zoom. And then you can zoom out just like so so it's so so cool and also you can actually go when you're going to images you can see these are copyright free if you look at copyrighted you click on that and it will show you these obviously you don't really want to look at the copyrighted ones because you can't easily use those and it's a lot less safe to go and use those and also to replace the scene as well if you want to find another say video of a dog you just click it drag it in like that and you can go and click add as a layer so you can layer it up or you can just replace it I'm going to click replace and it's going to trim it up for me so I'm just going to make that a couple seconds I want it to be about let's say three seconds click done and then it's going to import that there and as you can see it looks absolutely perfect uh, if I then go and click play we can go and look at it back and it should uh, look good then when I click play we can go and watch it and there's an awesome dog doing an awesome um, an awesome hand clap so yeah then all to go the next thing to do is go to go and save it we want to do is click preview and export and as you can see uh, it will just going to preview it. As, as you can see here it actually says video duration or bandwidth what may result in some lags in the preview rest assured the final render will come out crisp so we go we can quickly preview it um, you can hear my voiceover like we did at the start so we can just continue to watch I want to show you that obviously the dogs there as well and uh, then it will play the little video of the dog so yeah that is a successful video edit now I'm just gonna go and click export video and now it's gonna be doing this I want to show you how you can go and get it on your own computer to say upload whatever you wanted to um, because obviously that's pretty useful right so yeah we'll just and now the video is just processing so I'll come back once it's finished processing and I'll show you the next step so everyone the processing is now finished and to go and download it all you got to do is hover over it and go and click on the download button 
and then it's going to go and take it to our download. Just wait a minute, and as you can see, it's now downloading, and it's actually quite a small file as well. So this is good if you've got a small computer as well. So we can click it up, and now it's opened it up just here. Uh, I'll drag it over. It's on my other monitor. My bad. Here we are, and we can go and play through it. And it's just like we edited it. And there's our full video, the little dog at the end as well. So yeah, I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, go and check out in video down below, and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Peace out.